Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Welcome to Speech in the Silence, the podcast that is all Thelema all the time. Visit us and listen to our complete archive of programming at speechinthesilence.com or contact us at thelemapodcast at gmail.com. Excerpts from the second and third degree initiation ceremonies from the son of Chicken Kabbalah, Rabbi Lamed Ben Clifford's mostly painless practical Kabbalah course, copyright 2018 by Weiser Books, read by Lon Milo Duquette and Constance Jean Duquette. Then I say to you, seek yourself first in the darkness, for in truth, if you cannot discover the light in the darkness, you'll never discover it anywhere. How peaceful and profound is this darkness divine. Such is God consciousness. No name, no form, no nature, no dream of light, no dream of time, no dream of space, no dream of motion, no dream not even the dream of self. Nothing to cleave the sweet darkness and deface this absolute, infinite, and eternal bliss. But absolute self yearned to know itself, to identify itself. It hungered for self-awareness. So, in order to touch itself, in order to experience its own infinite nature, it forsook the paradise of selfless self and entered a master dream of all possible possibilities. It concentrated its absoluteness into a seed of infinite potentiality, a formless primal nothingness from which all that can ever be proceeds and a nothingness into which all that could ever be returns. The absolute sealed itself into itself as the sacred letter Tav, the signature of God. How peaceful and profound is this darkness absolute. It swallows up even the thought of darkness and light. Worthy guide, what is the hour? Honored teacher, it is the silent dark moment before light expands and shatters into vibrations of color and sound and shifting forms and pairs of opposites. Worthy guide, what is this place? Light in extension, honored teacher. Worthy guide, what is the source of light in extension? Honored teacher, it is hidden. Worthy guide, what god utters the word that shatters the light into vibrations of colors and sounds? What god speaks and seals the limits? of space and form and time. The number seven, honored teacher. Through the agency of the seven double letters of the Hebrew alf- alphabet, it is written in the Sefer Yetzirah. There are seven, of which three are against three, and one places them in equilibrium. 
The number seven seals the limits of space and form and time, and by doing so, divides itself against itself to become the god of opposing forces, qualities, and appearances, a god who sleeps and dreams it opposes a devil, a light that sleeps and dreams it opposes darkness. But worthy guide, is not this dream of the number seven the nature of all phenomena in the dimensional universe we perceive around us? Is not seven the nature of objective reality? Indeed it is, honored teacher, if we understand reality to be that which per is perceived by someone who is also trapped in the same dream. Seven is phantom life that dreams of death. Seven is phantom peace that dreams of war. Seven is phantom wisdom that dreams of folly. Seven is phantom wealth that dreams of poverty. Seven is phantom beauty that dreams of ugliness. Seven is phantom fruitfulness that dreams of sterility. Seven is phantom dominion that dreams of slavery. Worthy guide, what do we call this world of duality? Honored teacher, it is called the macrocosm, the greater world, for it casts a great spell. So great a spell the uninitiated believe the macrocosm to be God and the cosmos, and the unawakened believe it to be heaven. What are the seven double letters? Bet and Gimel, Daleth and Kaf, Pei and Resh, and Tav. And do these words have a meaning? Indeed, they do, honored teacher. Bet is a house, and Gimel a camel, Daleth a door, and Kaf the palm of a hand. Pe is the mouth, and Resh is the face, and Tav is a cross, or a mark that seals the gates of existence from within and without. What are the duties of the seven double letters? Beth and Gimel mount the mother letter Aleph and seal infinite above and infinite below. Daleth and Kaf mount the mother letter Mem and seal infinite east and infinite west. Pe and Resh mount the mother letter Sheen and seal infinite north and infinite south. And the letter Tav? What position does Tav hold? What direction does Tav seal? No position, honored teacher. No direction. Tav is the inscrutable source and center of the macrocosm. From Tav burst the rays of the three mother letters whose extension created the double and simple letters and triggered the chain reaction of dreams fools call creation. This has been a production of Speech in the Silence. Thanks for listening. Visit us at speechinthesilence.com or write us an email at thelimapodcast at gmail.com. Love is the law. Love under will.